Logan Paul yes. wants me to roast him. Yes, okay, PewDiePie, give it to me, bro. <laughs> it's going down. Well, I guess Logan Paul got what he asked for. In a recent vlog video on his channel, Logan Paul Vlogs, he has been asking PewDiePie to roast him because he thinks it's fun, and PewDiePie has been roasting his younger brother, Jake Paul, very recently, and it's gained Jake Paul a ton of subscribers because of that. So Logan Paul wants it on this action as well. You guys may or may not know, I've been like poking the biggest YouTuber on YouTube, his name is PewDiePie, otherwise known as PewDiePie, to roast me. He's he's roasted my brother twice now. All I want to do is get roasted by this guy. And finally, finally, bro, he put something out. Okay, so the big moment that Logan Paul was looking for just happened in yesterday's video, but he was very disappointed because PewDiePie said he wasn't going to roast Logan Paul, but instead, he did this. I don't really see the point because he roasted himself practically for every single upload. Bah! No. If you're a hatter, I will kill you. No. Okay, so maybe Logan Paul is going to have to wait for the real roast from PewDiePie. It's going to happen. It has to happen, right? Instead, PewDiePie just yesterday decided to roast to watch Mojo, who is a top 10 channel here on YouTube. I'm a little bit scared, I'm not going to lie, because what if he goes after top 10 channels? I have one most amazing top 10, and I don't really like all the drama stuff. But for Logan Paul, he has been thriving on it, and he's been embracing the drama. Right now, he's actually the fastest growing YouTube channel in the world. The only channel that is beating him is a YouTube channel, YouTube Movies. Not really sure what that is. Logan Paul's currently hitting almost 2 million subscribers a month, which is incredible. He'll be passing his little brother, Jake Paul. He'll be passing the Jake Paulers very, very soon. There's going to be more Mavericks. Well, maybe, because Jake Paul yesterday hit over 100,000 subscribers in just a day, which just seems so impossible. I mean, what are these brothers doing? But a huge congrats to both of them. I'm a huge fan. Okay, so the new Game of Thrones trailer just came out, and here's a sneak peek of Season 7. Okay, wow. There seems to be a ton of action, more action, and a ton more deaths. The season premiere for this show is July 16th, so just weeks away. I'm sure everyone is just waiting for this day. One of the most talked about stories right now is about Otto Warmbier. He's a 22-year-old American University student who went to visit North Korea as a tourist in January of 2016. He was arrested and sentenced to 15 years of hard labor, which pretty much means he has become a prisoner to North Korea. And this was after he was being accused of stealing a propaganda poster from his hotel lobby. The United States were involved as they made diplomatic efforts to seek Otto's release. Two months after his imprisonment, Otto suffered a major medical crisis that caused severe neurological damage. After nearly 18 months of being detained in North Korea, he was returned to the States. Six days after Otto returned to Cincinnati, Ohio, he died. The US officials have blamed North Korea for his death, but North Korea said he died as a result of botulism and a sleeping pill. Botulism is a rare and potential fatal illness caused by toxins in your body. But the U.S. physicians found no evidence of botulism. Otto is one of 16 American citizens detained by North Korea since 1996, including three who are still in their custody. As a result of this, the United States and China began a high-level security talks focused on North Korea. Both of these countries are outraged to what happened. President Donald Trump has been counting on China to use its economic leverage with the government of North Korea leader Kim Jong-un as Americans' concerns grow grow over North Korea's acceleration towards having a nuclear missile that can strike the United States mainland. So just released for the final photos of Otto Warmbier. He was seen in the pictures laughing and joking North Korea just before he was put in jail. And now investigators are saying he was brutalized in their care. Also investigators found that Otto was put into a coma and this was all because he stole a propaganda poster. I mean that is so crazy when you think about it. And he was in that coma for over a year. My condolences goes out to Otto and his family and all of his loved ones. He will be missed. President Donald Trump also gave his condolences to him. After the death of Otto, it was reported that Kim Jong-un has went into hiding in fear that America would strike them. He believes that this could very well spark the war that everyone's been talking about. President Donald Trump released a statement saying that he once again condemns the brutality of North Korean regime as we mourn its latest victim. The president will be taking actions against this, but we don't know what's been going on right now. When there's more updates of this story, I'll be sure to let you guys know. There was 
another tragedy that happened not too long ago when the Grenfell Tower caught on fire, killing 79 people and injuring another 74. This was the deadliest fire in mainland Britain in more than 100 years. It was really bad. Well, Simon Cowell produced a music video with many celebrities in it in hopes to raise money for the fire victims. Some of the celebrities in the video is Liam Payne, Lewis Tomlinson from One Direction, you have Jesse J and James Arthur, and that's just the name of a few of the megastars in the video. The video was titled Artist for Grenfell, Bridge Over Troubled Waters, and it was released on iTunes for $1.29, and all of the proceeds goes towards the victims. There were so many people who survived the attack, but all these people were left homeless. But the City of London Corporations has purchased 68 flats in a luxury apartment block for the survivors. Around 250 people will be rehoused permanently inside of a 2 billion British pound luxury development. There are two and three bedroom properties. The building owner sold these luxury apartments at cost, so the city was able to afford them. Also, the world number one tennis player right now, which is Andy Murray, he's going to be donating his money he wins in the tournament that he's currently playing in. The prize money, if he defends his title, is 347,000 British pounds. That is a lot of money to give away, but it's for a great cause. Over in Portugal, they have been dealing with fires on their own as well. 62 people were killed as they fled the massive forest fire. It gets really hot in central Portugal, and forest fires actually happen often because it's just so dry there. But this is one of the largest wildfires seen in Portugal. Victims were burned in their cars as they try to like flee the scene. Also in the news, Uber CEO Travis Kalinick has just resigned as the CEO after he's been getting a lot of pressure from investors. This is a fast growing company. Travis is one of the co-founders of what is now one of the most influential technology companies of its generation in the world. The company is only eight years old and it's worth $68 billion. Travis's net worth is $6.8 billion, but now it's time for him to step down from his company and focus on other things. Who knows what else this guy, this mastermind of a guy is going to come up with. Also, someone else stepping down and it's been shocking the world is the director of the upcoming movie, the Han Solo prequel movie to the Star Wars movie. Lucasfilms has just made this announcement. The directors are Phil Lord and Christopher Miller. They are talented filmmakers who have assembled the incredible cast and crew. But they say that they just have a different creative vision on this film, so they decided to part way. It just, it wasn't what they wanted. So whatever ideas they had for the movie, well, it's going to go in a completely different direction. Let's just hope in the end, the Han Solo spin-off movie that comes out in 2018 is good. This movie still doesn't have an official name for it yet, but we'll probably know soon enough. Oscar legend Daniel Day-Lewis has just officially retired from acting. This guy is 60 years old, but I think he has so much more to give. He has a movie right now in post-production, and that's called Phantom Thread. His last movie before that was actually back in 2012, so he hasn't been in movies for a while, but it's still sad to see him retire. Well, there you guys have it. We're going to end off with the retirement right there. I'm not going to retire, though. I'm going to see you guys all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm actually flying off in the morning to VidCon to meet all of you guys, as, as many as you guys as possible. So I'm going to be in the Anaheim area. I'm going to be in the Anaheim Convention Center. I can't wait to see you guys, and I'll see you guys soon on here in a new video. I think on Monday.